For this example, we're going to simplify i to the 23rd power. If we remember that i equals the square root of negative 1, and that i squared equals negative 1, we can easily do this problem. So we want to put this in terms of i squared because we know what i squared is. But in order to do that, you have to have an exponent that times 2 will give us 23. And because 23 is an odd number, that won't work. So I'm just going to get as close to 23 as I can. And if I use 11 here, 11 times 2 is 22. And then I can multiply by i, and that will give me the 23. So 11 times 2 is 22, plus 1 is 23. And now I can replace my i squared with negative 1. So I have negative 1 to the 11th power times i. Negative 1 to the 11th power is negative 1, because it's an odd amount of negatives. Negative 1 times i will be negative i. And that's our final answer.